uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm um, making a small clip for a new feature which we just recently built. It was requested initially by a few of our clients um, and I'm assuming now this feature is very useful. It's called a tell management um, functionality or area. Even though we did have a similar kind of option available already under the dashboard of EBM book, um, if you go to the advanced section, but they requested me uh, to build an option where, um, for example, if employee wants to take um, certain amounts of money from the till, that amount of money should be registered and the system should know how much been taken out, who took out that money, or what money been deposited. For example, if you want to deposit um, a change, uh, which is nothing to do with a customer, just a change or a certain amount of money into the tail. Okay, let's go log on to the EBM book. Um, I will log in as an admin. I think the password is very easy. No, it's easy, but I can't remember. <laughs> one, one, one. Okay, for the very first time when you're logging in, you will see um, our windows will pop up. And that window will ask you to enter the start balance of your tail. So how much money you have in physical tail or in your pocket, which is useful for, the, uh, for this business or, uh, if you do not have a till, uh, then you should put that amount here. Uh, let's say I'm starting my till with 10 pound balance. Okay, I click on 10 pound balance and this has been registered. Now carry on, do um, a usual activity, serving customers, taking orders and etc. So for testing purpose, I will take few orders. Um, let's say pay, uh, with cash for this order and then I will take one more order yeah and this time I'm paying um, for this order uh, using my credit card um, okay so it is four pound and 78 pence Okay, the order has been paid. Now let's say it's the end of my shift or end of the day. Now I'm hoping you do not take this many, this few uh, orders. You take more orders, but let's say this video is just for example, yeah? Okay, um, I will see my end of day report. Uh, clicking on tell management. If you go to the close uh, till option you will see that report but just to let you know a little bit about these four buttons uh, these are used in connection with the tail management so close till shows you the history of uh, open till um, which uh, whatever transactions were going on or whatever orders you took uh, they will uh, they will all show in here so these are expected cell summary which are automatically generated by the system um, and these are the values that you want to input so whatever money is in your cash till uh, or cash amount is in your till you have to put them here or whatever uh, amount you charge uh, by card or check or bank transfer uh, was in place that you have to put them here in order for the system to properly uh, and accurately register everything so uh, let's go uh, we want to put some money in the till um, assume you're not closing but you just want to put some money into the till uh, what you have to do is, uh, first of all, if this action is carried by your employee, employee should be privileged or should be authorized to take this action. If not, then uh, obviously you will see certain errors, which we will show you. I will show you those errors later. Let's say paying in. Um, I put, um, let's say, uh, £5 into the till. And um, okay, five pound is added into the till. It's here by admin. So whoever is adding um, 
uh, any value into the tail uh, that will show here so any currency now uh, let's say I'm taking out um, assume uh, 10 pound for the um, for the employees for for a lunch or let's say uh, for utility bill to pay or something else um, in relating to the business let's say I'm taking out 20 pound from the till um, okay click on continue now if, when you're closing your daily end of day report uh, what will happen is all those transactions which were uh, put in place will show on this report okay pay in is five pound and it will show who took that order sorry who took that money what time exactly what date and pay out as well uh, will be registered and the balance um, how much uh, was your start till balance and it will show here as well which is this okay now you can see our till has just few pound left there of course because you just took out 20 pound from the till um, and your all transactions and total earning was very less amount um, okay and then what you will do is you will put the cash amount which I did explain to you before in here the card the check and bank transfer will be here so in my case what I will do is um, card uh, as I as customer spend four pounds seventy eight pence using a card, so I will put this amount here, four seventy eight. Um, so uh, so for the system to know exactly how much you took. Sometimes you might make mistake. You're taking wrong orders. The orders will be there, but never registered in the tail. That's why it's better you can either delete that order or you can uh, put the actual figure in here. And the system will understand your full transaction of uh, your daily transaction as well okay um, now uh, your cash so how much cash you will put here uh, the cash amount you putting there will be two pounds 78 plus um, the start balance um, plus the paying in minus the amount of money you took out so whatever's the answer you will put that balance here and then what you will do is you will press the uh, close end of day report okay once you click on that the report will close and you will be logged out which means that is the end of the shift or end of the day for you let's say you coming the following day you logging back in you will see the pop-up window uh, again um, you can see you saw the pop-up window um, you have to put everything here again uh, just in case just to remind you if you do not close your tail if you do not go through this procedure the following day you will not see this window and there you go uh, you will mix your balance between yesterday the next day and so on until you're closing your tail mm -hmm. so uh, what i'm going to do is for testing purpose i will open a tail with 20 pound balance uh, run a few tests again just one one uh, transaction um, and then and then i will log out without closing my tail okay I'm logging out let's say I'm coming the following day now I won't see that pop-up message uh, the pop-up window um, um, there you go and the system might think um, there is a stale open balance or the tail hasn't been cleared yet which usually in real life you should always make sure this is how the uh, businesses work you clearing your tail they and you coming completely fresh for the following day and okay this was all about tail management um, in my next video I will tell you how your employees will use the tell management feature or how to show just few options of tell management to your certain employees okay thank you for watching i hope you do subscribe to this video and also please do like it um, so i can add you more tutorials